Hello guys and welcome to another video. What we have on the bench today is one of my favorite Atari 8-bit computers, the Atari 800XL. And uh, I have to admit that from time to time, um, some weekends, over some weekends, I get it out of the box and uh, play around with a few games for a couple of hours using my old um, uh, but reliable cassette uh, player. Or some other time I would rather go ahead and uh, play with my handful of few cartridges uh, with games that I have. But I think the idea is global and the demand for instant uh, loading of games. And so I picked this Pico uh, Multicart the other day. I wanted to check it today with you, so I have already loaded some games via the uh, Type-C USB connector, uh, you can see down there. I have read that this device supports uh, folder structure, the folder structure that you need, uh, the names that you want to give to your folders, so you can uh, separate the game, 16K, 8K, whatever you want to name it. And um, I can not really wait to check it. So quickly power off, plug it in, power on again, and the A8 Pico card uh, screen is on the screen with the folders that I have created uh, XEX, ROMs, ATRs and CAR uh, directories with some games, some files in it already copied and um, there is this uh, easy way to access the folder going up and down and the selector of course is the uh, enter key. The firmware itself is smart enough to include a search uh, function. Uh, there is um, this ability for you hit by hitting escape to find a file. So I'm guessing there is uh, um, uh, a search algorithm embedded. Very smart and very convenient. You can uh, boot by hitting X you can go back by hitting B and of course you can select and uh, uh, move around with the cursor keys and the enter. So at this point I'm looking for something like F. F, double F is what I was looking for and it came up with kickoff. So it's not just in the beginning of uh, the name but anywhere around the name. So it is launched already immediately that was my idea that was the first test and I'm very happy and pleased so at this point it really emulates uh, the cartridge like there was a cartridge in there and uh, the um, contents the file is launched pretty amazing um, what is really interesting about the A8 Pico card is that it's very very cheap it is based around the earlier UNO card design but it's cheaper and very uh, uses the uh, purple Raspberry Pi Pico clone and it can be uh, constructed uh, easily by you at home um, there is a github page I'm going to post what is really also interesting is that it doesn't take over the computer uh, but um, it works along with the computer so for example if you need to go back to this main page you have to press the reset button and then press Atari's reset button on the right hand side the silver one um, and then you can go back to uh, the main screen and select the folder you need to go and uh, so on and so forth so this guy can really emulate um, disk images and cartridge images. What I'm going to try um, at some point is to run a bin file which would be actually a common uh, binary cart image because it was not in the instructions. Um, as a first uh, try I have copied several uh, XEX files and apparently and for starters it looks like uh, the emulator works just fine. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and try a few more just for the sake of the experiment and uh, then I will do my favorite thing which is always to tear apart the devices that I'm testing. Ah, this one is one of my favorites, ever favorites. Bear with me for uh, a second as I'm trying to check other uh, files that I have downloaded. One thing to consider is that do not blame uh, the cartridge if something goes wrong with uh, some particular games because sometimes um, the images that can be downloaded might be just might be damaged. And so here is the moment of truth. Under the hood uh, we can see the purple uh, Raspberry Pi Pika clone based on this Raspberry Pi uh, uh, circuitry and there is the type C uh, connector to connect your USB cable to your PC and transfer the files. It is much used like um, a big uh, IC uh, connected on the PCB. You can try to prepare it yourself. You can find the KiCad uh, schematics and all the designs that you need but I have to tell you that this came to me um, for 25 bucks uh, shipping included so it's uh, very cheap uh, the uh, PCB from the, the purple Raspberry Pi Pico clone is very cheap something like four or five bucks so by the end of the day maybe you wish to have it as ready-made coming in this wonderful uh, 3d printed case and all that uh, it's very cheap and very reliable uh, once connected to your PC for the first time you will notice that uh, the capacity is up to almost 16 megabytes as flash and it's more than enough for you to create your folders to put the favorite games that you uh, want to have on the cart uh, and uh, just uh, make sure that there is this um, firmware file in the root directory and then you can start creating your own folders and stuff you can put the uh, XEX or whatever files you might want to have and that would be all that simple up to 16 megabytes so thank you very much for watching uh, that was all for today i hope you liked it i'll catch you soon with another video repair review modification or whatever comes in mind and comes along in the lab so thanks again for watching i'll be catching you soon bye for now